Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, our regular weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian. We are at Belmont Center, and we are doing the show live, and we have uh, Jerry Deckhout from uh, Champion Sporting Goods with us today to talk about uh, Town Day. So, Jerry, what can you tell us? So, Town Day is Saturday, May 21st, a week from tomorrow. Uh, it's from 9 to 5. Come down and join the fun. We'd first like to thank our, thank our major sponsor, People's United Bank, for helping us out, setting all this up. We have all these activities going on here, the dunk tank, the fire station tour, kitty rides, pony rides, we have bands throughout the day. So come on down anytime and enjoy the fun. Jerry, it sounds like a lot of fun. How many years have we been doing Town Ooh, Day now? This is the 32nd year. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 right. It's a lot of work. I get a lot of help from the town and from my employees and the toy shop and the businesses in town here, but it's a lot of fun. So uh, come on down and join in. All right. It sounds good, Jerry. So uh, I know everybody's looking forward to it. Yes, they are. Yep. It's a good day. So. Uh, I got to get back to the store. All right. <laughs> All right. Jerry's back to the store. Thank you, Jerry. All right, Franklin. Uh, yes. Let's, let's talk about. So there was uh, there's some inter interesting news this week from the high school, and actually, um, uh, kind of a terrifying incident. Well, it was uh, it was certainly concerning, and that was a bomb threat that uh, uh, happened early on uh, Wednesday, and. Um, Turned out to be, thankfully, it turned out to just be a false, uh, a, a false of, uh, alarm. Um, this, was, this, was, this was apparently phoned in by somebody from outside of the community. They've already caught him. That's right, and that, that's the interesting thing. It was a 38-year-old man from New Hampshire. He uh, he phoned in the uh, threat from the Holiday Inn with anybody. And uh, uh, what happened is that uh, the, you know, ever since schools have become, uh, uh, there's been a a large amount of people who are, you know, threatening schools and stuff like that. What's been happening is that um, there's been a lot of systems that have been brought, brought together, and uh, this is uh, one of the successes. Do we know anything about why this man would have phoned in this bomb threat? There is a, there's actually no, there's no real thought that he had anything in connection with Belmont. So it just may have been that he selected Belmont for some reason. All right, and so the high school was shut down for the entire day. That's um, right. And uh, there was a, a very active police investigation. Are, uh, you know, is there any lasting impact as a result of them? Well, I think what it showed is that uh, the, 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 the process and the procedures that they have did a great job. So it was, a, it was a well put, you know, they, they, they found him very quickly. Um, the Belmont it's, it's actually surprising how quickly they found him. That's right, and I think that has to do with the, the modern and updated procedures that they have for any kind of incident that's happening uh, with schools. All right. Well, we'll hope this doesn't happen again. Um, all right. So next, um, let's. So we just finished segment A of town meeting. Um, what can you tell us about that? And what are we looking forward to with with, with segment B? That's right. Segment A, of course, is a non-budgetary uh, segment of town meeting, and it was really one of the, the quietest town meetings I think we've ever had. No controversial articles, the amendments, uh, there were only a few amendments, and it was only on really one article. Uh, you know, in the last night, there was simply one thing that we that, that town meeting did, and that was uh, affirm uh, the town's, um, uh, that the town would like to see the, uh, the state flag and the state seal um, basically um, uh, uh, changed, because there's a, a, a thought that it, it is, um, it is a disingenuous. It's it's, it's not a, a very flattering so, to uh, individual so, people so, of Massachusetts. So, in terms of the symbolism on, on the, the state flag, there, there's a Native American, and there's some somebody um, in Miles Standish's in, arm up there yeah. <laughs> with, in, with a colonial sleeve holding a sword over the Native American staff. They, they're basically saying that uh, you know we have peace through through fear, <laughs> something like that. So it was a. But, but what really what we saw with segment A is that uh, I think really is that when you have when you have a virtual meeting, you're really you can't there's there's no way of getting like uh, a feel of the room. There's no way of seeing people like gathered together, you know, quietly. Right. 
um, and, and decide whether they want to support something or not. So number, one, the, number one, the articles were also kind of, you know, as I said, meat and potatoes type of okay. kind of issues. So, but this issue of being virtual, is this causing any controversy as far as, you know, the continuation of town meeting as we get into the budget article? That's right. Uh, we already know that the, uh, the town moderator is, is suggesting, and it will be brought up to the uh, select board, to, uh, again, be virtual. Um, and it is causing a lot of people to say, this is, why are we having this? And they're pointing to towns all across the state, which have gone back to a live version of town meeting. We see it, uh, take an example, it's uh, like Needham. Needham had their town meeting on the same week that we did. They went through, they, I think they went through 48 articles. It's amazing. Uh, uh, but what they did is they went into, a, into the uh, basically the auditorium of their town hall, which is basically the same size as ours. And they put uh, 250 people in uh, and did it successfully. They basically, they, what they did was they said, if you, if you feel you're going to be compromised, please wear masks, you know, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll accommodate you. But they did have a meeting, and you could sit, and if you went and saw what Needham had gone through, through their uh, cable service, okay. it really was, you know, that give and take that we, we don't see right now. But some of the controversy, isn't it, Franklin, that we've entered a, we've re-entered a high transmission phase of, of the ongoing that's right uh, it's a, pandemic and um, you know this is a very real health concern for some people uh, you know some of the, some of the members who some of the town meeting members are elderly some some no doubt i mean without having any specific knowledge may have um, uh, immune uh, compromised issues uh, i think what you saw with uh, mike widmer who sent that uh, uh paper who sent a report out to uh of town meeting members. He said, I did a, a lot of research. I talked to the Board of Health and they stated that the best thing to do right now is try, is try to continue with masks and separating. And that's the issue here. We can't separate people six feet uh, apart and have 250, 300 people in a room. There's just no facility in town for that. Both the auditorium and the high school and, and uh, the Chenery Middle School just can't handle that. All right, well, thank you so much, Franklin. We've been talking to Franklin Tucker. Um, if you'd like to see more of his um, uh, reporting, please visit belmontonian.com. That's it for the Belmont Journal News Now, and uh, we'll see you next time. And be sure to come down to Town Day.